Hello everyone, this video is regarding BRC written exam for scientific officer recruitment. I am making this video on the request of few of my subscribers and let's start quickly. So paper pattern is simple, 100 questions, each question carry 3 marks, total of 300 marks, negative 1 mark for each incorrect answer and uh, if you will see the previous trend of cutoff for uh, your individual branch you will find that it will be lying somewhere around 60 to 70 percent of the total marks so <coughs> you, are, you have to target 75 questions for safer side and for some branches it may be 60 or 60 also may work but 75 questions uh, will keep you on safe side so out of 100 you have to uh, be very accurate on 75 questions and you will be given 120 minutes for this exam so I'll tell you that how I personally attempted the this exam so in first 40 minutes what I decided that I have to skim through all the 100 questions very rapidly and stop on a question only if you think that you can solve this question within 15 to 20 seconds there will be many theoretical based questions also and uh, many one word kind of uh, questions in which uh, you just have to read the question and you know that I have to take this answer so such questions will be there so in first round of skimming you have to attempt only those questions which you can you think uh, you know accurately the correct answer and you can do it in like 10-15 seconds and then you have to come back again and then you have to search that which questions are there which you can solve within a minute like there will be there will be questions in between which are therefore trapping you like uh, there will be very very easy questions but highly calculative so those questions will call you but you don't have to fall in this trap you need to be very selective on which questions you have to skip because time matters a lot in this exam and also one more tip that uh, once you have attempted 75 questions and you are feeling that uh, my 75 questions I have completed accurately then don't try to attempt more and more number of questions because uh, this thing happens in exam like uh, in last 10-15 minutes people think that I can attempt, I can attempt this also, I can attempt that question also, this also I am having 50% probability so don't take chance on those questions especially in last 10 minutes, don't go with your instincts at that time because if you have skipped that questions, those questions uh, for first 100 minutes that means you are not very sure about those questions so don't attempt those questions in last 10 minutes to save your marks now coming to how and from where to practice so uh, for every branch uh, you can like for EC electrical and instrumentation branch you can take uh, one mark question of gate for all the branches common subject and your core subject from your branch and uh, also ISRO questions you can solve because BRC never discloses its paper but many questions you will find somewhat similar to ISRO and gate one mark questions and if you still have time and if you still uh, want like a gate questions you have already many of you might have already completed one mark questions so you can try ESC one mark questions also and there are some theoretical based assertion reasoning based questions in ESC those also you can try and while trying this question you try to maintain speed with accuracy try to take set of 100 questions and try to solve it 
in 120 minutes like you are going to do in actual exam so for example if you are having 12 subjects so you can take 5 5 or 10 10 questions from each subject one one from each chapter and you can see whether you are able to solve those in 120 minutes time frame or not or better you if you have any uh, test series or something like that you can try with that also like grade up and all such apps provide test series uh, dedicated on this pattern exam pattern so you can see there i have tried few tests of grade up that's why i'm saying an academy test also you can try and uh, practicing this much would be enough only thing is you have to be very accurate while you are solving so there you have to avoid calculation mistakes you don't have to take even if you are 50 percent sure you don't have to take chance because there are many more questions you have 25 questions to skip so you better plan that way and see once uh, you have cleared the cutoff no one will ask how much marks you scored in this CBT exam in your interview interview will be completely technical irrespective of your past marks so it may happen that uh, someone scored 300 out of 300 in CBT and someone who scored just 160 out of 300 and the person who scored 160 get selected in interview because he is having strong technical or he is strong in practical so my suggestion will be like if you are having time what you do uh, while solving questions only you know you try to read and understand the meaning and the mindset of the person who has prepared this question from practical point so it will help you grasp grasp the concept practically also uh, for example if you are solving any question on say transmission line and you have to calculate uh, impedance input impedance of that line at particular point so try to think after you have reached to the answer you try to think that why this input impedance is lying in this range and how on what factors it is depending whether the material of line is uh, able to change this input impedance or the load is changing or or questions like what if i have to uh, fix this input impedance at that particular value only so if you try to think over that question you will grasp more and more knowledge you will question yourself and try to find out answers so this way your technicals improve so this kind of methodology you don't have to do for all the 10 12 subjects you just have to do for four or five subjects which you are going to pick in your interview for example if you are going to pick say digital electronics so they'll be asking you on flip-flops they'll be asking you on counters shift registers and all ram rom so while solving a question on counter say you have to calculate frequency at the output of this stage of some flip-flop so you try to think that how can i change this frequency or if someone asks me like counter is dividing frequency if someone is asking me make a frequency multiplier so is it possible that i'll be able to make with that, that counter or not so if you try to solve question and rethink over the questions in this way then this will help you in interview also so along with the preparation of written you are preparing for interview also you don't have to spend separate time and of course after you clear written they will give you sufficient time to prepare your those five subjects but throughout the process if you will solve questions with this approach no 
it will definitely help you some of the questions in this uh, cbt will be very difficult like uh, you might be from instrumentation background and they are asking you something from the antenna theory and many of the questions will be very very easy but if you are finding a question really easy then definitely there will be a catch in options so be very careful while you are selecting options like uh, if there are four options like 0 0.1 0 0.01 0 0.001 and say one and there will be units also attached to it so if usual answer is for that is 0 0.01 so 0 0.01 say meter but what they'll do they'll put all the units in centimeter so you have to select that one centimeter one option so this way they try to catch so presence of mind is also very important if you are finding that question very easy and if you are finding that question is very difficult you have you better skip it i told you that you are having 25 chances to skip so better skip the question rather taking it on your ego and solving it that it will be just waste of time and you will ruin your paper so that's it for this video and all the best from my side. Let me know if you need any more help and also do let me know once you clear this BRC. I'll see you here. Thank you. Bye bye.